Hello, my name is Stephanie and I'm a librarian at the Sugarland branch. Today I'm going to show you how to change the appearance of the text in a Word document. All the features I'm going to cover are found under the Home tab, which should be the default tab when you open a new document. Today I'm working with Word 2016, but if you have a different version, you will find that these features look very similar across all versions of Word. First, there's the font. If you click on the little arrow beside the font name, you'll see a list of fonts to choose from. There's a variety of options in different styles. Some are better suited for headlines or other text you want to stand out, but I'm going to choose one now that should be easy to read at any size. If I select a font before I start typing, then everything I type after that point should be in the font I choose. If you've already typed something and want to change its appearance, you can move the cursor into the middle of the word, but any changes you make will affect that word only. If you highlight text by holding down the left mouse button and dragging it, you can change as much of the document as you'd like. Next to the font is the font size. 11 or 12 is a standard size for documents, but you may want to make the text bigger or smaller. For instance, you might want large text on a flyer to make it visible from a distance. You can select a size from this drop-down menu, or you can click the icons with the big A and the little a to make the font bigger or smaller in increments. A little below the font size and to the right, you'll see an A with a red bar below it. This will let you change the color of the font. The default is red, but you will find a palette of colors if you click on the arrow. Below the font, you'll also find icons to make your text bold, italicized, underlined, or you can use strike through to cross out words. You will also find subscript and superscript next to that. If you would like to clear any changes you've made to the formatting, you can click the eraser icon to the right of the font size. This will return everything back to the default. Remember that you can always experiment with these settings until you get the look you're going for. Just save your document frequently and have fun. Thank you for joining me for this lesson.